Since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, many sectors suffered. But among the sectors that were not affected is technology. This is the Kai Technology Office at Wusetu Abuja, which the MD Ayula Dawudu says they are aimed at strengthening technological innovations in Nigeria. But the beauty of technology is about providing some solution that matters to uh, everyday life. So one of the things we as Zika Technology is planning to do for in Nigeria is this. Check out the likes of Google. They have Android. The likes of high, um, Apple. They have the iPhone. The likes of Samsung. They have, um, they have the, um, what's it called, Samsung phone. Now, every year, they tend to bring to you new technology. So one of the things we are here for, trust me, I told you, the car park here is a very big one. Speaking, Daudu believe technology can help in the fight against insecurity and COVID-19. Okay, earlier in the year, we developed an app called End COVID-19. This app was developed to be able to find solutions for Nigerians. This app actually can help you go into the 14 days, um, 14 days incubation test. But up to today, the government hasn't even brought this product out there. We submitted this product with NCDC. This app is there. I think I have it on my phone. Okay, my phone is with him. I would have shown you this app that can help you test yourself on a daily basis. It is AI developed, whereby it is behavioral. But this app hasn't been, um, been released by the NCDC or called us back to come and even defend this app. So there is nothing I can say much about that. The solutions are there. The special assistant to the FCT Minister of State says the FCT administration will look into the work of Zika technology. Yeah, I was actually excited. Um, I've always been someone who believed in ICT as a solution uh, solving uh, part of our life. And even while I was seated there, I was already looking at some challenges that we're having in FCT that we think ICT can help solve. So I think they are on the right path and that's actually where the world is going because you could see what COVID did to us. Everybody was having to do most of the things at home. So we're gradually moving into that virtual world where you don't have to be physically present in where you need to work, but you can always be productive. Alhasa Mbala, ITV News, Abuja.